freedom, equality, and a safe place to call home, to call a nation for their generations to come. Our forefathers laid their lives fighting for this great country in Vietnam, in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Syria, even in Libya. We have foreign seven members who have gave up their life so that we can all be free. The land of the free, the home of the brave. This is what this nation represents. Why should we have foreign seven members? in uniform willing to sacrifice all they have willing to put their lives in line willing to do all it takes to protect the freedom of this country to protect freedom of every human being around the world to uphold justice democracy for every living thing. Yet. They are freedom is not. Respected. Yet their rights are being denied. It is not justice. To have a foreign seven member. Who are willing to do everything, uphold the laws, willing to sacrifice their life, and yet they are citizens of other nations. They wear the uniform, they uphold the flag, they stand for the flag of this great country. But their mind, their identity is still be recognized by other countries. That's not fair. That's not justice. I am not complaining. I am very honored to wear this great uniform. I take pride in it. I'm making willing to make the sacrifice today so people, foreigners who will come after me, who will want to serve this great nation, don't have to go through same issue, deal with the same problem I am dealing with, I have dealt with for the past years. I have served this great nation and I will continue to serve if I am called upon by need to serve this great nation as an American, not as a foreigner. That is my great desire. There are all the foreign serving members who have been faced with the same problem. We have sought help. We have brought this issue to our leadership. We have sought legal services. We have done everything we know should be done. Two years still. No freedom for me. No freedom for them. No freedom for those coming after us. That's not justice. I'm making this video. 
to draw the attention of our leadership. I don't want to be a, a hero. That's not what my intents are. Do, making this video might even cost me my job. It might cost me peace. It might be a negative effect to me. I'm willing to live with it. As long as the message is sent across. There are still four in seven members of this great nation who are still being denied their citizen. Denied the opportunity to be called American. That's all I'm saying. Our leaders should look into this issue. We have earned the right to be called American and we should not have that right taken away from us by an individual, by a group of people, just because they can. I am helpless of this situation, but I am hopeful. I am not downcast. I am not beating up. I am not giving up my uniform. I am not giving up freedom, which I take pride in fighting for. This is the land of the free. Our forefathers made the sacrifice for us to be free. The home of the brave. I am brave. That's why I make this video. I am an American airman. That's what I want to be known. Not a foreign airman. An American airman. I have answered my nation's call. So I need my nation. To answer my call. I need to be a whole entity. Have a hundred percent focus. In order to give a hundred percent. This issue of my citizenship being denied. All the uh, foreign seven members still be denied their right. Is the problem that is taking a part of us from being complete. Please, leadership, if you are watching this video, you come across it, we need help. Thank you. I take pride and serve this great nation. I will never trade it for nothing else. I will never go AWOL. I will never become a friend of the ally, cross over, take any information I have in order to hurt this great nation. No. There is no reason to do that. This nation is a nation that fights for freedom all over the world. We need to free ourselves too.